go on. <laughs> I don't believe it. Is this for real, Dad? You bet it is. What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today, we're going to be taking you guys and showing you guys my hyperbolic time chamber, my mini hyperbolic time chamber. Now, ever since I first started lifting, it's always been my own personal goal to just have like a home gym setup. That's why when I moved back to Hawaii, you know, it's not something I wanted to do in New York just because New York wasn't someplace where, where I was going to settle down and I just didn't have the space for it. I still really don't have the space for it today, but we made it happen as you can see. And yeah, it's always just been a dream just to have my home gym. Yes, I love going to gym, but I hate waiting for stuff. I like just lifting at my own pace and, you know, just getting in my zone without having to worry about, you know, too much outside distraction. And I guess during this quarantine time, it really paid off. All right, so today I'm going to be taking you guys through my entire mini hyperbolic time chamber. I'm going to take you guys through every piece of equipment that I own. I'm going to give you guys a price breakdown. For those of you guys who are aspiring to start your own home gym or have your own gym or you know for those of you guys during quarantine time maybe are looking for pieces of equipment i can tell you guys from my experience you know what i like what i really don't like and what i would recommend that you guys might get so let's go so also if you guys haven't seen my video making my hyperbolic time chamber i'll link it down below in the description i vlogged the whole thing putting everything together getting everything and yeah, it was a little bit, it was a bitch, but we got everything together. So first thing you're gonna have to figure out it, when you're putting together your own gym is you're gonna have to look for a one, like a place that everything's gonna fit. And two, you're gonna have to make sure the ground is flat and even. That's like the hardest part, obviously. You don't wanna be lifting on uneven ground because one, you're gonna create some muscle imbalances and two, you're gonna, you can um, possibly hurt yourself. So for me, um, this whole room is carpet. And I honestly thought when I first like bought everything that the Ollie platform was gonna be stead stable enough that these like tiles on the ground were gonna be strong enough to support everything, but it isn't. So if you watch the video when I built everything, I had to get like the thickest plywood I could find. I got a tarp first to cover the um, rug to make sure everything you know didn't get damaged. Then I put the thick as plywood down, then I put my platform on down. And if you look at my platform, that's why it's slightly raised because it's sitting on top of that plywood, keeping everything nice and stable. So first off, I'm going to take you guys through my Rogue order. Now, shipping was really expensive, buying from Rogue and shipping to Hawaii. Rogue only ships out of Ohio, or I don't know if they changed anything since then, but when I bought my Rogue stuff, they only shipped out of Ohio. So I had to ship everything from Ohio all the way across to Hawaii, and that's why shipping was 2600 bucks. For those of you guys looking to put together your own gym, search on Craigslist. Here in Hawaii, there's not a lot of gym stuff just because shipping is so expensive. It's hard to find gym stuff on Craigslist. So when I was looking, I couldn't really find much and things that were good sold out really fast. And for me, like I just wanted everything nice and aesthetically pleasing just because this is my job and I don't want to be, I don't want to look like I'm lifting in some type of shithole, you know? So I want to invest in nice equipment. So first off, I started off with the rack. Now, when you're looking for racks, there's two main types of racks. I'm not a rack expert, but when I was looking, I was looking for a rack where you didn't have to bolt into the ground. So there's bolted down racks where you have to bolt into the concrete. And for me, because I don't own this house, I'm currently renting, um, I didn't want to really ask my landlord if I could put two big ass holes into his living room. So I had to look for a freestanding rack. This rack is called the RML-390F flat foot M light rack. It was $765.19. I really like this rack. Um, it's black, it's clean, it has the pull up bar. <clears throat> the spacing on the rack is really good. Lots of gyms that you go to at 24, they have real large spacing. So if you're like, if this hole isn't there and if you're stuck in between like, you know, two spacings, then obviously you're gonna either have to tippy toe to unrack or squat their weight up when you unrack it. So I like how it has nice spacings, a lot of quality racks, that's what you'll, what you'll notice. Secondly, I'm just gonna start with the platform and the base. Um, this is an eight by eight Ollie platform. The only reason I got it was one, yeah, I thought it was going to be stable on carpet. And two, I, I just wanted to be aesthetically pleasing and I didn't want to damage the floor. Um, again, because I'm renting this place, I didn't want to damage anything. 
So the Ollie platform, and that's just this metal part on the outside, it came out to be $242.25. Now with the Ollie platform, you have to buy the tiles to obviously fill it in, which were heavy as F. I didn't think they were gonna be this heavy, but for 16 tiles, it was 432 pounds. So a lot of my shipping went into this tiles and stuff. So obviously you can cut down a lot on your shipping expenses by just not getting this Ollie type platform. Um, and just getting regular tiles or just building your own you know you can save a lot a lot of money there's so much tutorials of people building their own platforms and that's what i'd recommend you guys to do as well this is all unnecessary but only stuff that i wanted and the tiles itself was 498 dollars and 50 cents so next thing i looked for was a bench now there are so many benches out there but I, for me because i like to incline bench and i don't flat bench i need to look for a good adjustable bench and after reading like a ton of reviews i found this bench it's called the AB-2 adjustable bench with a 12 inch pad. I like it because the pad's a little bit wider than the pads you find at the gym. So it stabilizes you a lot more, especially if you know you got that wide broly back and you feel like you're gonna fall off the bench at 24 or any gym that you go to. This bench, I actually kind of went back and forth about. And reason being is the price. It's $774.25 when I bought it. It got super good reviews. People really like it and I gotta say, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. If you're looking for a bench and you have the money for it and you can invest in something that's gonna last you a while, I think this bench is gonna last you for a really long time. Um, it's really sturdy. <clears throat> and I just I just really like it. It's really well, ma well made. Um, it did come with a messed up wheel that I had to um, get fixed through Rogue and everything, but it's all good. I mean, and that's another thing. When you're shipping everything to Hawaii, a lot of things get messed up in transit, as you'll see, and we'll go, we'll talk about more throughout the video. So with that, I had to get weight. So initially, I only got four 45 pound weight, two 35s, two 25s, two fives, two tens, and two two and a halves, which in hindsight wasn't enough weight, but luckily it's one of the 45 pound plates had like a huge chunk of rubber taken off in transit. So I sent Rogue some pictures and they shipped me out two new plates, which worked out really well. So even now, like if you're a powerlifter, this still isn't enough weight for you. But for me, and because of my body bear that doesn't, you know, back squat or deadlift currently, it's a little bit over 400 pounds, which is totally more than enough for me and what I need it for. And also shout out to Rogue. So there's two issues when I got my shipment. One was the plate and another one was one of the tiles had like a huge chunk of rubber taken out from the corner as well. Um, in transit so they gave me um, uh, like I think it was like a $50 discount on my order for the tile and um, they sent me two new plates so shout out to Rogue. The last thing that I had in my Rogue order was the Rogue Ohio Par Bar. This is the black sh sh this is the black zinc shaft with bright zinc sleeves. Now I fucked up on this order to be 100% honest. I wanted everything blacked out. I didn't realize that I got the was this bright zinc sleeves. They're supposed to be blacked out, which is what I wanted, but it's all good. Um, for those of you guys who only can afford one bar, I'm not a bar expert, but as far as I know, um, I think the power bar is your best bet to go. It has great knurling, great for squats, great for deadlifts, great for anything that you want to do with the bar. And I really like it. It lasted me a while. Even in this Hawaii humidity, um, I have to clean it quite often just because it starts like rusting a little bit here and there. So I have to clean it quite often. Um, but, you know, I think I've had this for like three years now and zero complaints. Also, when I was putting together my home gym, the first guy I hit up was my friend Brandon Campbell. I'm gonna link his channel down below. I collabed with him back in 2014 or something like that. But he is the master of all home gym stuff. He does lots of reviews. He hooked me up with um, some of the, some stuff that I'll show you later. But yeah, he was the first person I hit up on what to buy, where to get it from. And I just told him exactly what I was looking for. And his channel is all about the home gym stuff. So I'm gonna link his channel down below, go and check it out. And he'll probably have, or I know he just uploaded a video about um, racks that were still in stock because I know like a lot of places are sold out right now. So I highly recommend checking out his stuff. All right, so next piece of equipment I'm gonna show you guys. And this is um, actually something that Brandon hooked me up with. These are called Iron Master Dumbbells right here. They go up to 120 pounds and look how small and compact everything is. All the weights kind of sit in here and you can just kind of load it. They have like a locking pin here. And these are probably the most compact set of dumb heavy dumbbells, 120 pounds that you can find on the market, at least from what I've seen. Before this, I had the Bowflex dumbbells that only went to about 52 and a half pounds each. The Bowflex dumbbells were okay, um, one, I didn't like them because 
they were so bulky. Like you put, you adjust it to 20 pounds and it's super wide with 20 pounds. Um, these obviously, I think this is only what, 20? There's only 40 pounds, you know? So it, it's actually smaller than 40 pounds. And I just, yeah, shout out to Iron Master. I know right now they're sold out of a lot of their stuff, but this 120 pound weight set is 950 bucks. Um, they hooked me up through Brandon. So shout out to Matt and Iron Master Dumbbells for making awesome products. I really like it. Um, as you can see, the weather's been getting to it and I gotta clean these bad boys up, but it's all good. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is a new piece of equipment that I got and that is my plow boxes. So I just recently bought two of these plow boxes from Amazon. They're not the greatest. Like if you can see like, can you guys hear that? It like moves. This is not safe when it does that. And you can move it with your hand. So it's not the best plow boxes, but to be honest, I was too lazy to ship it back just cause yeah, it was, it was whatever. I just try to be real safe about it when I do it. So I got these to do belt squats, shout out to Alex. That's where I got the idea from to start doing these belt squats. So when you have a home gym, there's a couple exercises that are really hard to imitate without going to the gym or having that piece of equipment. And one of them is leg press. Now, yes, you can do front squats. Yes, you can do goblet squats. Um, but I wanted a way just to take the pressure off my lower back. Um, I really enjoy leg press because for me, I have um, some lower back issues. So I try to work around it and belt squat has been great. So I've been doing like a makeshift belt squat. All right, so the next piece of equipment I'm gonna show you guys is my Sw Swiss bar. This is something new that I just got. It was $125 and free shipping from Amazon, which is why I jumped on it. Um, I wasn't looking for something super expensive. Also, like, as you guys see, shipping is super expensive. So once I find things that are sh free shipping, I usually jump on it. Um, no, it's not the best bar. Yes, it did come damaged. They had like, it was packaged horribly. So a few main reasons I decided to get the Swiss bar was overhead press. I wanted to try using a neutral grip overhead press just for something a little bit easier on your shoulders and easier on your anterior delts. So I tried that the other day and it felt great. I kept it light about 135 pounds. For those of you guys that follow, Follow me on my IG story, you guys have seen it. And the second exercise I wanted to do with it was close grip bench press. So either out over here or in here. So close grip bench press is an exercise that I really liked to do when I was younger. Um, but as I go older and I, you know, just as I got more, got more like shoulder issues, close grip really like messes with my shoulders as well. So I like how this has like a neutral grip and has like these 45 degree handles that I can use for close grip bench press. So that's something I'm gonna do. Other things you can do with it is hammer curls, um, barbell hammer curls, and also pen lay rows, which is other exercises that I'm gonna do as well. So it's an all around great bar, and you will see me using it more and more throughout the videos. Next bar I'm gonna show you guys is the easy curl bar. This bar was $75. I just got this mainly for arms, like, biceps, you can do wide grip bicep curls, you can do narrow grip bicep curls. Um, you can do skull crushes, I don't do skull crushes because they mess with my elbows. I just really like the easy curl bar mainly because um, it gives you just a little bit more variety when hitting arms. Next thing I set up when putting together my gym was rings. Now these are wooden rings that I bought from Amazon. They were 30 bucks each, I got four of them. And I kind of just spray painted them black just to match everything else. I love ring pull-ups. If you guys haven't tried ring pull-ups, I've been promoting this crap for years. You guys need to get on the ring pull-ups. Feels great on your shoulders, great on your back. It's just awesome. I also have other rings up there. An exercise that I started doing and I started bringing back again are ring dips. Now ring dips feel great. Like you get the craziest contraction on pumps on your chest. Um, so weighted ring dips is something I've been doing and I'm gonna slowly start working my way up. And it just feels good just because it's body weight, it's working a lot of your stabilizer and muscles. You're getting a nice stretch in your pecs, your anterior delts and everything. All right, so last piece of equipment I'm gonna show you guys is my kettlebells. We have two 15s, two 20s, a 30, a 40, and a 50. Something I wanna invest in right now, so right now, all the kettlebells on Amazon are all sold out. Um, so eventually when things settle down and they get everything back in stock, I wanna get two more 25 pound kettlebells just for lateral raises. I changed the way that I do my lateral raises with the kettlebells. I kind of grab on the back corner, which I'll show you guys in a video. Um, but kettlebell lateral raises are great. Another exercise that I really like with the kettlebells is leg extensions. Kettlebell leg extensions 
feel amazing. I just like the free free range of motion that you get, how you can angle your hip higher or lower, and you can change the contraction. I think kettlebell leg extensions are highly underrated. And moving forward, I wanna see more people doing them just because they feel great. And also leg extension machines, like most home gyms don't have leg extension machines. So it's a great way to replicate that um, without you know doing a squat. So yeah, I got these, these kettlebells. Another thing that I wanna point out to you guys um, when it comes to ordering kettlebells is order your kettlebells through Amazon. Now I'm not affiliated with Amazon. Um, I guess I could make an affiliate link, but they're all sold out anyways. But from my experience, okay, this kettlebell I ordered from Amazon. It's pretty, pretty damn nice. So when you order kettlebells from Amazon, they package it really flipping well. It takes you like five minutes to like break open everything because everything is is taped and bubble wrapped and you know just packed packed really nicely. When you order kettlebells from other companies, they end up looking like this. See how it's all mangled and messed up. This kettlebell was from another company. This kettlebell was from another company. And this isn't me messing it up from using it. It came like that. So. If you guys are gonna order kettlebells, um, well right now obviously you're gonna get whatever you can get because you know of the quarantine and everyone trying to buy all this home gym equipment. But I do recommend getting your, getting your stuff through Amazon. Um, for, and it's just what I noticed. They, since I ordered these, these companies might've gotten better at packaging and shipping their stuff. Um, it's not a hard change to do. But you know, I noticed that the, all the kettlebells I bought from Amazon all came in pristine condition. Oh, also this thing. I was at Ross one day and saw this bad boy for like 10 bucks or something. So I decided to get a medicine ball. You can do the medicine ball slams. You can do um, Russian twist. You can use it. Most of the time I just use it for abs or medicine ball slams it whenever I want to do something more explosive and plyo-ish. So I totaled about as much as I could of everything that I use in this gym and total came out to $8,082.33. Now, do you need to drop eight grand on a home gym? No, especially if it's not your job, it's not your work and it's not your business. But for me, that's what I did. And this is something that I plan to keep you know, forever, for as long as I can. Um, and I just kind of want to add to it and grow. And eventually when I move out, you know, get something bigger and add more and more equipment to it and build my hyperbolic time chamber because that is my dream. All right, so that's the end of the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your dream hyperbolic time chamber would look like. You know, let me know if there's any pieces that I might be missing that might benefit me, that might fix some of the problems that I have, or, you know, just let me know how you guys like the video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. For online coaching, email me, gokuflex at gmail.com. I am still helping saints ascend through this quarantine time and make gains, make progress. For programs, check out saintarmy.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.